Hey Moxie, Michael Santonato here, the Relationship Master, with another video this week for you. And as you can see, I like to do things a little bit differently. So, this week we're going to look at the brain and how it plays a part in your relationships and in your life. So, I went to a course, uh, I'm always going to courses, I'm always learning and developing. I went to an amazing, amazing course just a week and a half ago and learned about the brain. Here's what I learned. The brain is always listening, and the subconscious, which is in the back of your mind, is always listening. Why I say it's in the back of your mind is because it's there listening, even if you think it's not. So, the brain interprets everything. Millions of bits of information every second, if you can believe it. So the brain stores all of this information in the subconscious, which is really interesting because... Sometimes we think information is not important or not relevant. I have here the word not goals because the most important thing I learned, which is relevant to you, your relationships, and your life right now, is that the brain only accepts positive commands. It accepts all commands and it accepts them all as positive. So when you tell your partner or if you've ever been in a relationship and uh, married people can attest to this, if you've ever said to your partner, honey, please don't forget the milk, or the wife has ever said to the husband, don't forget the dry cleaning. What happens? He forgets the milk, he forgets the dry cleaning. Why? Because the brain receives that command as positive incoming information. All the brain really hears is, please do this which I'm about to tell you, which is forget the milk and forget the dry cleaning. So, what we have, a lot of us, are not goals. A lot of my clients, when I work with them, they say, I want someone who's not like this. I want someone who's not like that. I want someone who's not going to treat me this way. What you're programming yourself, your subconscious, and your mind is to actually have those things. Since the brain only interprets those commands. So, we have not goals. So, what you have to do is stop setting not goals... And you have to start setting real actual goals, which makes sense, the ones that you actually want. Which is perfectly hilarious to me, because one of the first things I do with my clients is actually work with what they do want. So be aware that the brain is always listening. It is all powerful and it interprets everything. So the first thing you can do is talk to people, your current partners if you're in a relationship, in a way that is positive to what you do want. And if you're single, think about things and look for people and qualities that you do want. I had to include this because this ties into everything, and especially the first things that I do with my clients in the beginning. I found this amazing, and I hope you do too. I'll see you next week.